That's funny. Hello everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm going to be opening my Ipsy as you saw. This is actually from this month. Yeah, it's from this month if we got in a time machine and went backwards one month, uh, then it would be from this month. I have one recorded that's from I think February or, or March. It's currently April and this is currently my April Ipsy. This feels so light and flimsy. It's almost as if there's nothing in here. You know, considering the issues I've been having, that is a distinct possibility, but we're going to find out together. If you don't know what an Ipsy is, Ipsy and BoxyCharm are beauty subscriptions and they recently merged together. This is the first tier and it's a $15 bag that you're getting five free samples. No, no, I always say free samples. You would think they would be, but they are not. They're five samples, they cost us $15, $13 plus a $2 handling fee. Did I say you get to pick one product? I don't know. The good thing about this bag is it's moderately affordable. Everyone's idea of affordable is different, of course. And you occasionally will get a full-size product. I think they are typically trying to put in a brush or something to that effect to make it a little bit more worth it. I don't know if they've changed the guaranteed, and I say guaranteed because it does include the price or the cost of the bag, and the cost of the bag will inevitably change month to month, but you're supposed to get at least $50. Now, the theme of this month is anything is possible. I have no idea what I picked for reasons, um, and of course, I guess they are no longer putting the items that you're supposed to get inside of the card. I really kind of appreciated that. It just made life a little bit easier even if you throw the card on the floor so that means I will have to go into my phone of course my phone has been acting up lately it keeps telling me that I don't have a sim card in it I do have a sim card in it Carm, Carm. I do have a sim card in it it's just an obnoxious thing I need a new phone desperately anyway because this one's four or five years old I think all right let's let's see before I go over and look at what they sent me. Let's pull out the bag. Okay, it's kind of cute. It is a canvas type feeling bag with some pretty flowers on it, very apropos for spring. And on the back it says, look good and do good. Again, it feels very, very light to me, but let's find out. Oh, this time the pull is a ribbon of sorts. That's different, I haven't seen that in a while. And the first one is from Real Her. We seem to get a lot of Real Her products, and I believe it's a mascara. You will hear lots of noise outside because it's a fairly nice day out in maybe the low uh, 60s, and kids are playing outside, and I am right next to the street. So, let's see. Yep, it's a mascara. It is completely sealed, so I'm not going to open it. I'm actually going through a bunch of other ones, so I'm just going to put this to the side. Alrighty. Another set of sponges. I think every month for the past three months, I have gotten a set of sponges. These are kind of cute. They're very uh, spring colored, and I like that they're smaller. I've been using this one, and I don't even remember where this from. This might be an Eco Tools sponge. I need a smaller one for underneath my eye. The bigger ones just don't cut it. So I will keep these because I like the smaller baby ones sometimes. Let's see what they feel like okay they are I should say they feel like they're fairly porous and I saw a little thing on here oh yeah it's cute they have a little crown on there and they're cute let's see how big one of them gets I actually kind of like the ziplock closing thingy let me use this I'm almost done with this this was the skin and co the truffle therapy spray been using it to wet my beauty blenders because my tushy is too lazy sometimes to get up and go wet them in the sink. And I want to see how big this is going to get. Let me smush it. Just kind of smush it in there. Maybe it's not fully wet, but it did grow significantly even with just the spray. So, alrighty, that's kind of cute. Next thing is a pencil of sorts, and it says it's Shades by Shan, and it's the gel eyeliner okay let's open her up it is a twisty 
I don't want to twist it up too much. Feels very creamy. I'm hoping that it will stay in my waterline. I have a lot of them that go on my lid very well. I do not have a lot of them that stay or apply to my waterline sufficiently for me. So I'm hoping that that will. I'm going to see if it dries down at all. The next thing is from Oriza. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that wrong. You know what names? Sometimes it's hard to figure out the name of the brand, especially if it's a, not a common word. You know, names can be subjective. If it's just a word, I can figure out what it is if I just look it up. But brands are harder. I don't even know what it is. What am I doing? Oh, it's called a Glow Up Lip Balm. That's a very large lip balm. Hey, at least I didn't say limp balm this time. There it is. Pretty pink color. Oh, and it's in watermelon waves. Yes, please. Oh, yum. Oh, yes. It, it smells divine. Let's see. And it has some pigment to it. Look. Like just enough pigment that you don't have to be careful how you apply it, but it will give your lips a little something. Feels really nice. And the next thing is a little powder product. And this is from Ciate London. It is their Extraordinary Setting Powder. It's in a pressed form. Is this the one that I don't like? I might have the larger one of this. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, no, can't find it. It feels fairly smooth. I think the one that I didn't like was the watermelon, supposedly watermelon pressed setting powder. I think that was it. For a setting powder, you can see it shows up very white. I'll be curious to see how this applies. And again, I like the little stars. Okay, let me go into my phone and see what I got here. So the first thing on the list is actually the Ciate London. It's called the Mini Extraordinary Pressed Setting Powder. It, of course, does not give the price of it, but uh, it says you can shop at Ciate London. Is anyone else having this problem when you click the shop at Ciate, whatever, it doesn't work? Not even my review button works. Oh, there we go. The review button worked. I'll shut up now. But the shop button doesn't work. Let me look it up and let you know. Obviously, I know that a deluxe sample isn't sold, and supposedly this is three grams of product, which they are correct. But let's see what the full size sells for. Okay, so I, I looked it up. The only thing they sell is the loose setting powder. I'm not seeing the pressed. Okay, so I have no idea how much this would cost. I'd be curious to see how they had a breakdown of it. But let's go back into the app here. In my opinion, and just solely my opinion, things shouldn't be this hard. Okay, so the little baby Farrah mini sponge set. Here we go. Let's see. They're saying that this is $12. I would not personally pay $6 for a mini sponge set. That's just mine. That could be totally worth it, but that's just my opinion. I love when they say that these are 100% vegan. What could possibly be in a sponge that is made from an animal? I don't know. If you come up with something, let me know. <laughs> this person said, I never thought I'd be using beauty sponges as earplugs. Oh, that's funny. The shades are by Shan Gel Eyeliner. It's called Black Tea. And this is supposedly $18. Now, obviously, this is a full-size item that they're going to consider. And the price to me is inflated, so therefore, you know what I mean. And, of course, they're giving you all kinds of things. They can say you, do wing, you can do wings with this. I don't know how people do a wing with a stick eyeliner. I'm just not sure. Let's see how budge resistant it is. All right, that's not bad. I mean, yes, it's smudging, 
I don't think it's saying that it's going to be waterproof or anything, but I've had some eyeliners that just completely wipe off. So, okay, happy to have another black eyeliner again. Let's keep our paws crossed that it goes in my waterline. So then we have the Real Her Mini Mascara number two in I Am Beautiful. No, A. <laughs> I can I can read, I think, I E Y E am beautiful. Oh. Now of course they again they do not tell me the cost of this puppy or even the full size. So the shop doesn't work. Why bother having it there if the button's not going to work? Well, I can tell you that on the Ipsy shop this was selling for a dollar ninety nine. Just throwing that out there. Everything I click on, I clicked on Macy's, I clicked on Amazon, says this item is currently unavailable. And that's frustrating. I'm scrolling and scrolling and I'm still not seeing it. The one thing that's not coming up is the Real Her website. They supposedly had it at Costco in the Google search. Costco does not have it. So I guess you can't buy this product anywhere, which is concerning. And finally, the Orisa Glow Up Lip Balm in Watermelon Waves. This is a full-size item and it's $16. It supposedly has shea butter, rice germ oil, and they're just telling you to slather it. Just to slather it every, everywhere. Hmm. Okay, now I'm using some micellar water to try to take the stuff off my hand. And the eyeliner was you know, a bit tough to remove. So that could be a good thing if that's something you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, going over everything, the lip balm, the two baby sponges, the mascara that I cannot find anywhere except um, according to the Ipsy shop, it's $1.99. The setting powder. Oh, and the eyeliner. Wherever I put the eyeliner in my a mess of a desk at the moment. So, am I thrilled with my bag? No, definitely not thrilled with it. I will use the eyeliner and I will use the lip balm. I probably wouldn't have gone out and searched for them or purchased them because I do have a lot, but at least I would say I got my $15 worth. Do I think the bag is worth 50 bucks for me? Like in my opinion, absolutely not. But mine is just an opinion as is yours an opinion. And I look forward to hearing said opinions because you are all amazingly wonderful and I love you guys so very much and I am so grateful to have you as part of this family. If you're new and you check me out, hi, first of all, how are you? Thanks so much. We have a lot of fun here and if you want to subscribe, that would be amazing. But my friends, that is it. I hope wherever you are and whenever you are watching that you're having an amazing day or an amazing night and I will see you guys really soon in my next one. Alrighty, take care guys. Love you, bye.